have with us Mr. Sachin Jain, the Managing Director of DBS India. Uh, welcome, Sachin. It is always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, Sumesh. Thanks so much. And indeed, it's always a pleasure for me and all of us at DBS to you know stay connected with you and right. through you reach the, the rich heritage and the rich network of our business that uh, we get to. So thank you, Sumesh, for getting me on. Thank you. So straight away, getting into how are the preparations for the upcoming DBS Mark Forum? 2022, which is scheduled to be held from the June 29th to the July 1st. We all are very excited, but want to know from you, how is the preparations going and what's happening? Sumesh, as always, it's like, uh, you know, internally we say it's like, uh, you know, your testing time, the three days of examination. And I can tell you, we all are super excited. We right. all are, um, the kind of response I've uh, got initially from, uh, of course, our participants, our partners from the trade, uh, from our board, from other people has been phenomenal and the, I would say almost the need and the urge to get to India and see what's happening here is far and wide. So I'm I'm looking forward to this forum which will have the maximum participation of uh, not just the business leaders in, in India but also the leadership of the beers and leadership of the world. So it's going to be one of the I would say most confluenced broader forum that we do this time and I'm really looking forward because you know the theme for this this year's forum is uh, really celebrating the 75 years of a diamond is forever, which actually has impacted our business overall so much over the last 75 years. And that commemorates with the 75 years of India's independence, which is very special to all of us. So it's kind of reflecting back what happened in the last 75 and really constructing together what is a possibility in the next 75. Right. Yeah, that was my next question that uh, this forum is coinciding with the legendary campaign uh, the diamond is forever and which probably changed the diamond market also forever and it has got uh, even such a great recall value. So tell us something about this campaign. You're going to, going to have some memories of that campaign during this forum and, and all that. Hey, so for us, the uh, forum every year has been a platform which mm. change ideas, reflect of the past, but, right. but really build a future. So right. even in the, the spirit of something as legendary as you know, Diamond is Forever, which has been around for 75 years and has transformed time and again the diamond business. I think the key focus for us still will remain. Uh, yes, let's celebrate of what happened in the past, but construct the future because, uh, you know, the future for the next 10 years will be very different and who knows what will happen in 75, but really pick up on the five or seven trends, uh, which we'll elaborate. We will be elaborating on the research uh, and everything that's come through. So really quantifying that bit as to what we need to do. And I would say that really uh, at this forum, the leadership will be there. So people can craft out their own ideas and their own milestones, but put them together, put them close to your heart because right. the time for India can never be as strong and better as we see it this time. Right. So coming to India, the, it has been a phenomenal growth story for the forever mark now, DBS forever mark. You are kind of present in 275 doors in India and 14 ex exclusive stores of the forever mark. Uh, so tell us the future expansion plans in India. See, I think in, in India and actually also globally, the, the whole intent for us has been one that the diamond business expands and grows. And that is fundamental. And I think from that perspective, there are brands which we place. So we have uh, DBS Forever Mark as a brand. We started Code of Origin, which is, of course, uh, you know, another offering that we started last year. Very strong results there. But also the key is to build and how we can look at the diamond business in overall. So you mentioned, yes, we are about 20, 275 doors in India. Right. Uh, the intent of, uh, I mean, also we are progressing depending on how the consumer is responding. So we did try a few of our exclusive stores that's been coming through a very as a very uh, productive and strong business. So the intent for us is that by end of the year, we will have about 30 such stores, which are exclusive in nature. So brands are mattering, but also for us, it's through the partners, <laughs> through and with the industry that we want to grow. So you, men you, you mentioned 50 exclusive stores by this year end. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 sorry. Partners, uh, seven of them are under construction or finalizing, but we think by end of the year, we should have about 30, which is, right. which is again, something that we learned, something that. Uh, our consumers are are very happy to sort of engage with us as a brand and take yeah. it like that. Right. So the other thing is that if we noticed Indian jewelry market, Indian diamond market have seen a huge consumption. It has been very strong from last uh, 12 months or so. 
so going forward you see this momentum uh, being built being uh, being continued for 2020 i think suresh for uh, for us 2021 uh, like all of us has been a surprising and a wonderful surprise for all of us in terms of how the year has ended and that's uh, that's common to the entire value chain of business so it's uh, right from mining to trading to manufacturing and certainly at retailing right so you know bigger markets like america have grown dramatically mm. uh, india we have uh, we have proposed a growth of about 21 to 21 and a half percent last year which mm. is fantastic and what happens when you come out of a very strong year is that uh, you know you can some leaderships and some leaders in the business will craft out and make some right investments into their future expansions backward integration vertical integration and all that will happen so so all of that is is the scheme of things now to your question will 2022 will be growing over 2021 i think that's a uphill task i mean let's see what happens there having said that the uh, the you know the signs for the first quarter have been very strong again so you know as much we could say that 2021 has been a huge jump and should we continue that jump or should we calm down i think i think in our business we need to look at you know in blocks of two three years four years five years and will that be a solid growth so i wouldn't worry so much if we will not be able to beat the 2021 number or the same growth pattern but i i think the key is that individual companies are going to grow winners will win and overall markets might not you know we might not say that everybody's winning but i think individual winners and i'm working with a whole lot of uh, people very closely and the kind of uh, uh, progression that they're they're uh, visualizing in 2022 is rock solid. So I'm I'm going to be I'm going to be quite quite buoyant about 2022, but uh, but we shouldn't sort of uh, you know relax that the market is going to grow. So let's uh, let's keep doing the things that we're doing. 2022 comes with its own unique uh, uh, you know headwinds which we need to prepare ourselves. But right. I think if we keep focusing on the basics and keep working on the basics correctly. Moving with the times, I think there is no nothing to stop us. All right, so that's I think good comprehensive overview uh, for for our industry. Now, finally, Sachin, your message for the coming back to the forum 2022. Your message to the partners, your industry friends who are going to be visiting. What is your message for the coming forum? So, Samesh, through you, I'm going to first say that we all at De Beers are looking forward to welcoming each and everybody. Uh, at a forum it's an industry platform it's a platform to learn grow build a future right, right. Uh, we are putting together some really cool technology some really cool speakers some you know st- uh, conversation starters and come there with intellectual uh, you know uh, i would say curiosity and we are, i'm certain it's going to be if you if you come with intellectual curiosity you'll you'll shape up your own life your own business into the future and be a leader and that's that's what our mission for the forum would be Excellent. So I can understand, you know, we are all excited. I think industry is also excited and the knowledge uh, speakers and the knowledge forums have been one of the hallmarks of the forum, what you have been doing, getting speakers from the other industry, leaders from the other industry to us to know. And of course, networking and uh, having a great uh, time face to face meetings is all that uh, is what we are one is looking forward to the forum. Thank you Absolutely. for sharing your insights, Sachin. And Thank wishing you, the forum. And, you know, lastly, I would say that uh, yeah. you know why we are celebrating the seventy-five years of our legacy, yes, of of, uh, of the diamond business. I think we should also pause, reflect, and also have enjoy that moment. And and you would see that enjoyment. You would see that uh, celebration along wow. with what we can build in the future at the forum. So really yeah. looking forward to welcoming you, Sumesh, Thank your you, team, yes. and of course through you the entire industry. Uh, thank you for there. putting this platform every year and it is getting better and better the, the each year. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Sumesh. Thank, thank you so much. You.